We'll do one last example, uh, this time involving uh, a definite integral, as we can see. So again, x squared plus 25, we look for that pattern. Looks like arc sine, right? So we're going to let x equal 5 tan theta. Okay. So dx becomes 5 secant squared theta d theta. And if I do x squared plus 25, that becomes 25 tan squared theta plus 25, which is 25 secant squared theta. Okay. So if I take the square root, I'm going to get 5 secant theta. All right. But we also have to deal with the limits. All right. So if x is equal to 5, well, that means that tan theta is 1. And right, 5, 5, that means that theta has to be pi over 4. If x is equal to 0, that means that tan theta is 0. And that means that theta is 0, right? Remember, really, theta is arctan of x over 5. So we have to take the angles um, that the arctan function gives us. So this becomes, you go from 0 to pi over 4. x squared becomes 25 tan squared theta. That denominator is 5 secant theta. And dx is 5 secant squared theta d theta. OK. So we clean this up. Cancel the 5s. Cancel some secants. We get the integral from 0 to pi over 4, 25 tan squared theta times secant theta d theta. All right. Uh, and they've done it to us again. Tan squared is secant squared minus 1, right? This is once again that same secant cubed theta minus secant theta d theta, which we've already seen, right? And we're not a big fan of it. Um, so it's 25 over 2 secant theta tan theta. This one gives you half log of that whole mess minus log of the whole mess. So minus 25 over 2 By the way, I wouldn't remember this if I hadn't been doing all these videos all in a row, right? It's been, it's been 15 minutes or 20 minutes for me since I did this last one. So we'd seen this. OK, so we have that. Oh, but definite integral, right? So not plus c. We want to apply those limits. 0, 5. OK. Uh, pi over 4, sorry. OK, so. 25 over 2 times um, secant of pi over 4, which is root 2, tan of pi over 4 is 1, minus the natural log of root 2 plus 1. That's the upper limit. For the lower limit, um, I'm going to get, uh, so tan of 0 is 0. That's going to go away. Here, I'm going to get secant of 0, which is 1 plus 0, log of 1 is 0. OK, so it's that, and we're done.